Craps Dice <clears throat> Game Control Sets. Dangerous Arm Craps Dice Game Control Sets. Again, you are at the Dangerous Arm Craps Dice Control Sets video. Damn it. Okay, scratch that. Cut to Craps Dice Game Control Sets. Dangerous Arm Craps mm -hmm. Dice Game Control Sets. <clears throat> Welcome back, guys. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, hammering those numbers again, betting doubles. And on this one, we're actually using a third. This is our third video in a row where we're going to be hitting the triples. It's a good one. We're going for doubles, but we end up hitting triples. Uh, just showing the extreme consistency. But in this one, we're going to be using the two finger, two middle finger like this, guys. See it? But in the video, we didn't get a chance to, uh, we didn't have it set up where you could actually see the, the uh, you know, you could see me setting it up. But you couldn't actually see, like when I throw it, you know, so like this where you can actually see it. <clears throat> the primary hit, by the way, on a 5 2, or 5 4 2 4, 8 hawk. Oh. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. We're going to be using that grip, doing like that, and it's uh, going to be very interesting. It's going to be explosive, not going to be long at all. Stay tuned because uh, we're going to also have some other videos coming up with some brand new ways to throw the dice. Brand new ways to throw the dice. Uh, some of the advanced people might like this. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting and they found some very high consistency with these throws. I mean, it's, I'd show you here, but nope, we're going to show you this little, the two finger we're showing here. Three. Get some junk out of these guys, eh? Get some junk. Using the solid dice in this video as well, guys. I'll be using the solid dice for you. Six. Oh. Six. Oh. So that's how we're going to be throwing it, guys. We'll be doing that. And uh, we're just using the five four two four right now, but I'm not sure which one we use in the uh, in the uh, video. Five four one. Five. So I'm just throwing a couple so you guys could get a chance to actually see how that throw will go. I've thrown it in uh, videos before from way back. Just pulling it out again because uh, <clears throat> I like to stay warmed up with a lot of my tools, and it's definitely one of my one of my tools to make money with. Roll out three. <clears throat> that was a good roll out that actually turned random on me. Got away with it, I feel personally. <clears throat> but you know the five four two four is gonna run a little bit different when you're not using the uh, you know when you're you know I got a different setup. I'm using just the middle two fingers, you know, and the fingers are the hand is all the way down. By the way, see the hands covering it, thumbs all the way down with that grip. Then we're just going to move these outside fingers out, away from it, let it rip. Go. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't think I'm throwing this. This oh shoot, flipped on me, you sucker. Yeah, so this is the throw we're going to be throwing, guys, in the video, but we're going to have it uh, using the uh, chips, and we're going to get on out of here. Okay, guys, we're gonna get out of here on that note. Nine double back. Just hit a doubler. Just hit our double right there. No reason to keep on going. We'll see you on the other side, guys. This is a two finger, metal two finger. Full hand, like I said. 
and we spread out the middle these fingers right here and then we throw it that's how we're doing it guys see how we're doing it like that just like that okay we just threw a couple where you could see we just threw nine where you could actually see the hand real good come on in guys we'll see you on the other side dangerous on craps Three twenty bank roll, come out roll, not working it. Ten dollar pass line. Pass line. Date it. Got three hundred bank roll. Three twenty. The hundred ten inside. Just seen the uh, do the math there. Same way, we're gonna come out roll. What I'm gonna do? I'm put those two tens to ten dollar minimum. So we just move at twenty. We just made real quick off those two hits to the four and the ten. Coming out. Strong. Hitting licks. That's what we're about here. Okay. Live action. Live. Zaffir Hills, 415. Yeah, so we got a five down there, $25 five. It's going to pay us 35 Now we do it. Stack it. Five one. Dice aren't moving around too much. We've already determined our dice set for the day, and it is a five two uh, or five four two four dice set. That's what this uh, video is about. Actually, is uh, which dice set? Uh, we'll answer a question from one of our viewers from uh, episode one eighty nine. So we're just trying to roll, get this rocked out real quick, guys. Got a six thirty dollar six. Going to pay us thirty five on that. What we're going to do, we'll add one to that. That one, we'll get some change. And we'll add to that right there. We'll go right up to the 66 mark. 66 straight on it. Right there. 
Okay. 66 on it. <clears throat> Back to work. Just gonna get this game out of the way first, real quick. I'm gonna answer this question. Eight. And that's why I need new dice. I hate that rollout right there. I hate that rollout eight. It's not what I want. Same as the six. Got 35 on that, or 30. Get 35. Get paid 35 on the eight. Got $25 eight, or $30 eight. So we're going to get paid 35. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the uh, six. Stack it, rack it. Add one to it. Okay, we're in perfect position here. You can see where we've got one on each number. Uh, well, the nine isn't, but we've got uh, five, six, and eight. And we've got a 10 and a 4 just up there being happy. Six or eight right here would be swell. Ah. I work too though. Six three. Nah. That's a point. Mark that point. We'll get paid for the pass line. We'll get paid for the pass line and the uh, $25 nine. The $25 nine is going to pay us $35. We got that right there. Stack it. We get paid for the pass line. $10 pass line. We'll split it between the four and the five. Let's go. Coming out. We're not working it. We are not working it. Ooh. Strong. Seduce. I think it's going to pay 77 actually on that. Sorry, no, it. 77. I'm going to go up to, uh, we'll go up to 144. Oh, actually, we just hit our, uh, I think we just hit our thing. Didn't we? we just hit our double right there, actually. Seven, so let's go up to 144. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty. Oops. <clears throat> yeah. So, sorry, baby. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Let's bang that six or eight right here. We guys think. Put it down. Oh. Oh. That was supposed to be my eight or six right there. Had that rollout on it. Irritating rollout. We'll take that pay on that. We just got a place about a 15 on the four. Uh, four hit for us. That was good. So 15. So I got a good amount of that. Five by five. Three times seven. So that's going to pay us 21 on that, guys. Get paid 21 on that. We're just going to continue with that splitting between the, uh, the uh, 10 and the 4. Mm. 
Yeah. Three way, four way. Okay. Let's get that six ray right here. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Eight. Mmm. Some bitches. Some bitches. What I try to tell you. Ah, flipped over. Sorry, pal. There we go. I like to have that six, but the sixty-six dollar eight. It's gonna be seventy-seven. We already know that. Okay, seventy-seven right there. Hmm. Oh, shoot, hold on a second. That was a point. So, I realize that we get paid on our pass line too on that. Ten dollar pass line. Didn't even realize that, guys. Okay, we're gonna come out roll. We are not working it. We are not working it. Yo, yeah, we'll take that, yo. Take it on that. Okay, so we'll take a pass line win with that, yo. Right there. <clears throat> Ten dollar, yo. Had a three on that. That'd be my third one. Because I had the yo, then I had to come out. The game to come out, I had uh, two of them help us get up on the uh, 10 and 4, if you remember. Okay? I'm going to come out. Coming out. I tell you guys, man, you see it, it just it doesn't matter, man. The dice become biased. As soon as they get into my hands, I start throwing them. They become biased. I'm just trying to tell you, I'm not bragging or anything. It's what you see every day. I mean, I, I had to go to the dictionary and look this up. You know what I mean? Uh, it's the way it is, man. It's another eight again. It's blistering that eight, huh? Okay, guys, we're going to cut cut that out right there. We're not going to take any more hits on that. Not at all. It's just wise to uh, pull down. I mean, believe me. Believe me, I want to. I want to. <laughs> but I can't. It's a discipline game. It's a discipline game, guys. To beating this game over and over. I'm trying to tell you something. You know, and I got out of there. Now, if you look, I'm just going to show you something. See, I've got my count right here, which helps me. Not cheap, but... See, right now we're at uh, 2, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So right at the time, my average is, I told you guys, anywhere from 16 to uh, 18. Legitimate. Legitimate. And uh, so you know, this would be the time to get out. This would be the time to get out since that's, you know, if you're looking at the SRR strategy. And overall, that's what I'll do anyway. There's no reason for me to let the money ride. This should be really good money what we got made right here on, the, on this one right, so keep those up there they don't mean anything but I'm just putting them up there so we're just going to keep
keep on rolling here. Uh, I'm about to get to explaining this uh, situation with a one. I wasn't trying to make this long, but uh, uh, which die set? We had a question about which uh, die set, how to. Yeah, let's do another eight, okay. Jeez. Confused about what I was doing there. Yeah, but we had a viewer that was um, asking about um, when I was showing the video the other day about which uh, die set. There it is right there. Right in that. It's slipped in my damn hand, you bastard. I can tell you guys what happened on that one. Imagine that timing. Of course, you know, as soon as I pull the mind down, my focus, you know, drops. I mean, there's a, I don't want to go into it. It's just, whatever. We'll get into rabbit holes right now. I want to stay focused here. Uh, this is getting longer than I wanted, and I really wanted to address this question for the viewer. But real quick, the reason I seven down on that one, as I'm, as I had the dice in my hand, what happens, the reason you keep seeing me chalk up, because the way how I hold my thumb so low, <coughs> you know, you get a little grease or something on the dice. Your hand, I don't know if you guys can see this, so I can get this in here. But my thumb actually will, like, see that? How to do that? Watch. See how it's down? It'll slide just like that. Let me try to get this real close. Watch this. This is exactly what happened. I was throwing the dice, and right before I released, you know, I want them in my hand. See the thumb is down? Keep them released like that. But as I was about to release, my thumb went whoop. You know, it whoop. You know, it, went, it slid like that. So, see, I'm getting right through it. They need to stay tight and release out of the hand like that. See, they'll release. That's how I want. That's how I release. You know, they come out of my hand, you know, boom. And they come out of my hand, boom. See what I mean? The dice are tight, then my thumb's underneath. See, so. But my thumb literally slipped down because it's some kind of grease or something. My thumb, see? My thumb went whoop, like that. It slipped, or it came up. It slipped up instead of down. It went whoop like that. Just that little, right before it left my hand, it went like that. Just a couple millimeters like that. And so that's what happened on that one, guys. Damn it. But whatever. So 14s. Oh, shit. Whatever. 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it wasn't no big deal trying to, you know, it's a pass on these laws. You know, we weren't trying to, uh, you know, whatever, roll out or anything like that, guys. But um, so anyway. That was my first time with the dice today. <clears throat> first time with the dice. <clears throat> okay. I had the dice right before I uh, started the video. And I threw like three uh, three rolls, you know, I think. And I was like, oh, shoot. Hold on a second. And those two rolls. I threw two rolls. And I was like, no. Let me go ahead and get on video with this here. So that's what we did. But to our viewer who uh, was asking the question about um, when we were doing the uh, episode 189, which dice set, uh, you know, how to find it, things like that. Well, when we were in our video, just throwing the random roll, just throwing them down there, that's what we're doing, you know, but that's not what you'll do. What you'll do is you'll have your three dice sets. You'll have three different dice sets, wherever it might be, uh, five, four, you have your five, four, two, four, four, one, six, five, like that. And I know I'll let these green ones get you. These are actually my favorite. We're not going to throw them. Look, these are so much more crispy, man. I'm trying to tell you something. It's all right. I use those off film now. It's okay. Um, but you got your die sets. Uh, let's see. We got 5424, 4165, and I can't remember which other one I showed you. Uh, I was not right. The hard way. The hard way set. So we've got three different die sets, guys. Okay. We've got the 5 4. See that to the left? 5424, four, right here. 4165. Five four five four. Now you know, as I was saying in the video, that uh, he was asking, "Do we, you know, do do you do? Does the viewer do a random roll? No, you don't do a random roll. You were at the house warming up your uh, your dice set, you know, trying to figure out what dice set. So you take the five four two four. I'm just going to simulate just as quick as concise as I can. We're going to take the five four two four. We roll the dice. Okay, we're like boom, we roll." You know, it doesn't uh, work out for us. You know, we have a couple rolls there. We notice we're sevening out, you know, rather quickly with that. So we're like, ah, ah, 
you know, you had you had your first time with the dice, which, you know, the first time you might not really want to, you know, whatever, because my first time, it's really adjusting, get my brain into it, get my finger, you know, muscle and everything kind of reawoke, invigorated to, okay, this is what we're doing. We're throwing dice again, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, you might have to give yourself one roll, you know, I mean, a couple rolls within the one roll, just loosen it up, and then, you know, whatever. So you've used a 5 4 2 4. You've thrown it. It's not working two times, right? It's not working. You tried twice with it. It doesn't work. So you tried the five, four, two, four. So what you do, you know that's not your die set today. You scratch that. We just move it out, move it over to the side, okay? Don't even think about that. So we've got a four, one, six, five. Now here's where we were talking about. You know that your five, four. You know that your five, your your hardway set works. You know this hardway set works, okay? You know it works for you. It's pretty reliable, probably let's say 80% of the time. So, you know, but you're really trying to pick up one of these other sets to get going that can, you know, match that or be even better, you know, than that, because it will happen. So you're taking your 4165, you're throwing that down, and you're like, oh, you get a good roll, your first roll, okay? Your first roll is a good roll. 4165, guys. <clears throat> okay. You get a good roll on that with your 4165 die set. Okay. What you do is you take another, you take another uh, run at it with that. Okay. You take another run at it, and you just throw. You know, and see where you're going to go. Now, if it's still holding up, that's your dice set. Now, you don't have to roll all the way to a seven. You know, you don't have to roll all the way to a seven. But let's say your average is uh, eight. You know, eight will do this again. Your average is eight. That means you roll. You roll three numbers, or you roll seven times your last one. Your eighth one is a seven. I did that wrong in the other video. So you roll seven, seven times your eighth one is a is a seven. Okay. So with this four one six five, back to the four one six five die set. We'll tie this in now. You roll your first roll, and you roll a thirteen. That's a good roll. You know I mean, that's a good roll. I mean, I'm taking it. You know, what I mean, that's a good roll, especially if you're at eight. You see what I mean? That's that's a good roll. So take the dice again. 4165 dice set. Throw them down. Let them rip. Now, if geez. now, if you're able to on the next, uh, it was just like I said, something that works for me, guys. I mean, it's, it's very consistent. I did today before this. Uh, uh, well, this is the first time with my dice, the dice, uh, since I got home. Because before I left for the morning, I had already worked. I tried to, I was trying to work with a, uh, the uh, four six, uh, the three six, you know, three six four three, and uh, it wasn't working for me. So I just pulled out the uh, five four two four and threw a couple with that, and I immediately knew, you know, without going through the full test, that it was on. I was like, okay, that's my set for the day, and that's what I just used right there to rack them up. So you roll your first one, you hit a thirteen. Say your next one, you hit a cool. Because you don't, you know, let's say 7 to 9 range. You know, if you run it out and you run a 9, I mean, that's good. I mean, I'd, I'd go ahead. Because, see, now you're looking at, if you take those two together. Now, I know we're going to have people out there like, oh, duh, 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 that math can't hold up. I'm just telling you something that works for me immediately. That works for me. Every day changing die sets. It keeps me very, very consistent, as you see. So, we'll go 13 and uh, plus the 9. It's going to be 22. And we'll just divide that by 2. Now, you're looking at an 8 average. You're looking at an 8 average. So you should be good to go with that one. You know what I mean? You should be good to go. I'm not saying that, you know, you'll have, like, your biggest confidence, whatever. I mean, it's up to you. But, you know, that's something that works for me, and I'm very confident in it. Because, I, you know, that's why I say, you know, write down your roles. Get to, get to the 20,000 mark documented potential. Okay, 15. 15. You know, that way you'll have a really good idea of how you roll and what, you know, like uh, the numbers that come up. Because for me, you know, it, things will bounce around, especially lately. I'll get a number that gets hot, you know, or, or two. See, the four on this one was the one that was really, you know, hitting. You know, hit four of them. You know, didn't get paid on one. So, um, I hope I explained that good. Uh, but, no, you do not, to answer the question, you do not want to random roll you know uh, you're at the house again you practice the first die set doesn't work for you you're like 
uh, had a couple times the dice doesn't work. You know, uh, you take a couple hits with the four one six five. You know, your four one six five was hitting uh, nice on the first one, worked real nice on the first one. You rolled a 13, 14, 15, whatever. So you're like, sweet. You know, all you need to really do after like a roll like that, because that's that's a decent roll for you if your your average is you know 18. You know what I mean? Uh, or, or eight. Uh, you know, you don't have to like roll out a full seven if you if you uh, let's say you roll like a seven, eight, nine, whatever, and don't even try seven out. You know, you should automatically know like. Okay, yeah, this is working for me. Just because everything will, you just keep you keep working this and keep working your dice. You'll see what I'm talking about because you'll know your dice and you'll know immediately. It's hard to really break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down all the way down. But you know, no, you do not random roll. You do not random roll. The first set didn't work. You had a couple times with the dice, didn't work. So now you go ahead, try your four one six five, roll to fourteen, thirteen, fifteen, whatever. You're positive with that. You roll another one back. You don't seven out, but you roll like a seven, eight, or a nine. You're like, okay, I won't keep rolling the seven out just because it's a little confidence that you stay away from the seven. It's all right. I mean, it's all right. You know, and then you're ready. You know, that's how you'll be able to determine if uh, that's your dice set. You can roll out to the seven. It's just things that, you know, I might do when I'm just determining my dice set. And I'll just let that one ride. Then I'll, you know, give myself a break. Then I'll start over fresh, you know, roll that. So if I'm at practice. But if I'm going to the casino, I won't continue to roll. You know, there's a difference. So, um. And then what you'll do is you'll take that dice set with you to the casino if you're going to go to the casino. If not, you'll just work that dice set for the day. You know, work the heck out of it. You know, see what you can get on it. Because, you know, that it's just the way it works when you get consistent. For me, you know, for me, this is the way it's worked for me, you know, for some time now, guys. You know, I'm sharing, you know, golden nuggets with you. You know, so you'll take that one with you if you go to the casino. And if for some reason it doesn't, you know, it's uh, getting you in trouble. Then that's when you'll go to, you'll give it twice. You'll give it, you know, the first time with the dice, you know, don't even, I mean, you know, don't put your money up. You know what I mean? You're just, you know, getting your hand used to everything, the adrenaline calm down, trying to make sure you get your emotions together, you know, because you want to be able to focus. You know what I mean? You don't want to be too excited. You know, you want to be more like a machine, you know, when you're rolling these dice and just do the same roll every single time. That's what you want to do. So, you know, when you first get the dice to the casino, you're just looking to, you know, make sure your hand's setting up right. Because sometimes you might get to the casino and your hand doesn't even want to grip the dice the same. You know what I mean? It's just it's just not, even if you have new dice at the house, it's just not gripping because your nerves are going. Your hands might have a little perspiration on it. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, so, I'm just putting it out there, guys. You know, keys for you. So that's what you'll do. You'll get the first the first dice to casino, calm down, get your nerves together, roll, you know, whatever. Second time you get the dice, put your money up. Put your money up. For some reason, if it's not uh, happening uh, with that set, you can go back to the next set, you know, uh, or you can go back with that set again to just make sure that it's not working, but it should. It should be fine, you know. I would, I would stick with that set. But if not, if not, so you take the first dice, you know, your first round at the casino, just a warm-up. You're not betting. You take the next one. It's a little bit shaky. You know, with the money on the line. You know, I would take it again. You know, depending on how the shakiness was. You know, because it just could have been your nerves. You know what I mean? Chances are it was your nerves. So I'd take that same dice set again. And if you're just, you know, mad about got to get back and things like that, if you mess up on that that next one with, there, with that, you get caught for some reason, seven catches you. Early to get your money off, because you're only looking for three wins. You know what I mean, just three three hits. You know, and then you're out. You know, uh, or if you're doing the the minimal strategy where you can set them up all the way across, and you just get three hits. One, two, three. You know, and you're pressing all the way across each one. Boom. You know what we've been showing here? This doubles bang strategy. It's a little more aggressive, but you get the big money. That's why you got to be consistent. Okay. But if you insist on keep rolling, while you're there, you go ahead and take that hard way set. That you know is like 80% for you. And then you work that. Because you know that's a winning set for you. You know, And I'm not trying to get you off a winning set. But I'm just trying to get you you know, to understand that there are, you know. Every day, 5, 4, 2, 4 doesn't work for me. But if I'd say days of the week, how many days of the week it works for me. Probably 5 out of 7. You see what I mean? So those other couple of days I have to go to another dice set. And that's what I do. I throw the first one. I have my three dice sets or whatever. I throw my first one doesn't work you know boom 
you know, uh, well, I do the warm up, boom, first warm up, whatever, it doesn't mean anything. Then I actually try to dice it. It doesn't work, I try the same dice set again. If it doesn't work, I switch up, go to the second dice set. That dice set works real nice. I throw it again. If it works nice, you know, medium range again, that's the one you want to go with. Real simple, though. I hope I explained that. Okay, guys, I really do. Check it out, but um, I'm getting nervous because we're running out of time. I'm going to actually count this up real quick so we get out of here and not uh, have to put another one on top of this one. So we start with 300 bank rolls. Sorry, it was a 320 bankroll. There's our 320. There's our fries. Oh, there we go. 125 right there. Hitting them over at the uh, when I was playing poker with these red chips, when hit those big pops, it's awesome. Okay, here's a profit. Our next couple, we're probably not going to be doing any betting. We're going to be probably rolling practice, guys. I uh, hope I answered your question. This is uh, which dice set? Question answered from episode 189. We hope we answered it. CK.